Hello friends, how are you doing and I hope you really all are having a great and fun time and today we will be talking about the CBSC question exercise on cell cycle and division, right? So let us see the different questions, what are mitogens, right? What are the mitogens? So when we talk about the mitogens, we will see mitogens. <coughs> the mitogens are substances that induce the mitosis cell division or that bring about the mitosis cell division. Okay? So, we can say that mitogens, mitogens are substances, mitogens are substances that bring okay so mitogens are substances that bring about mitotic cell division or induce the mitotic cell division or induce or induce the mitotic cell division okay mitogens are substances that bring about the mitotic cell division or induce the mitotic cell division so these are the mitogens then we'll do the next question Write one point of difference between the chromatin and the chromatid, right? Write one point of difference between the chromatin and the chromatid. in a cell in a cell right in a cell in a non dividing state in a cell which okay in a cell which is in a non dividing state okay non dividing state So, in a cell which is in a non dividing state, the chromatin threads, the chromatin, okay, the <coughs> or we can say that in a cell which is in a non, I am so sorry. In a cell which is in a non dividing state, there are there are thread like structures, okay. There are thread like structures within the nucleus within the nucleus. which are called which are called as the chromatin threads chromatin threads okay so in a cell which is in a non dividing state there are thread like structures there are thread like structures within the nucleus which are called as the chromatin threads however however the chromatid is however the chromatid is one half of the
longitudinal chromosomes Okay. However, the chromatid is one half of the longitudinal chromosomes. So, you know what happens at the time of division probably you know at the time of division okay, these are the chromatids, these are the chromatids which are joined together by means of the centromere, which are joined together by means of the centromere in the center and these are the chromatids. So, this is one point of difference between the chromatin and the chromatid, right. What next? Name the chemical that arrests cell division in the cell, okay. The chemical which arrests the cell division in the cell is the one of them is colchicin, colchicin will arrest cell division in the cell, ok. So, colchicin will arrest Colchicin will arrest the cell division in the cell, right. What next? What are the interzonal fibers? Now, what happens here during meiosis, ok? What happens during meiosis? One, we will see that you know there are, you know, there are these longitudinal fibers or thread like structures which are present between the centromere and these are called as the interzonal fibers. Whenever the chromatids have separated, we will see these thread like structures between the centromere during meiosis 1, right. During meiosis 1, we will see, we will see the presence of thread like structures, we will see the presence, okay. We will see the presence of thread like structure so during meiosis one we will see the presence of thread like structure between the centromeres between the centromere between the centromere which happens when the centromere splits when the centromere splits ok which happens when the centromere splits. So, during meiosis 1 we will see the presence of thread like structure between the centromere which happens when the centromere splits. So, what will we see you know if this is one half and here is the other one right. We see you know it is splitting and going to the opposite ends right. Now, the presence of the interzonal fibers interzonal ok, uh, I mean the presence of this, this is what we know is the interzonal fibers ok, the interzonal fibers right, the interzonal fibers. Next, what will we talk about? Mention the phases of meiosis in which the chromosome number is reduced to half and DNA amount is reduced to the haploid state, 
okay. The phases of meiosis in which the chromosome number is reduced to half, okay. In the anaphase 1, chromosome number is reduced okay to half so in anaphase 1 the chromosome number is reduced to half why because the chromosomes have separated and are going towards the opposite poles and that is why we see that the chromosome number is reduced to half during anaphase 1 and the dna amount is reduced to haploid state and the DNA amount is reduced to haploid state in anaphase 2, right? Anaphase 2, the DNA amount, okay, the DNA amount is reduced to the haploid state, is reduced to the haploid state okay the dna amount is reduced to the haploid state where in the anaphase 2 right we now move on to the next question what is reannealing now what happens in reannealing the chromosomes come together by an enzyme the chromosomes join together by the enzyme and that process is called as reannealing right in the process of reannealing in the process of reannealing right in the process of reannealing the chromosomes come together the chromosomes right the chromosomes come together come together or are joined together by an enzyme or are joined together or are joined together by an enzyme right so in the process of reannealing the chromosomes come together right the chromosomes come together or are joined together by an enzyme okay we now move on to the next question What happens to the homologous chromosomes during the meiosis, right? Now, during the meiosis, what we will see that the homologous chromosomes have come together, right? So, And this is what we see, you know. Right? <coughs> that there is synaptic formation. Okay. So during the zygotine stage of meiosis, okay, during the zygotine stage of meiosis, there is pairing there is pairing there is pairing of the two homologous chromosomes of the two homologous chromosomes
right? During the zygotene stage of meiosis, they are sparing of the two homologous chromosomes. Now, during the PEC-IT, PEC-IT stage, we will see that, you know, during the PEC-IT stage, this is, there is crossing over, okay? There, during, during the Pachytene stage, during the Pachytene stage, there is going to be crossing over, there is going to be crossing over, which results in, okay, which results in synapsis and you know this is called a schisma or schismata is crossing over at the point of chiasmata. Then what happens after, you know, then what happens after the chiasma formation is, you know, there is the formation, there is synapsis at this chiasma or chiasmata formation, then, then the whole of the homologous chromosome, they start to separate, they start to separate and the maximum and the last of the separation will be at this point of crossing over. Then right the homologous chromosomes then the homologous chromosomes start to separate start to separate and the last of the separation and the last of the separation, right, and the last of the separation will be at the, will be, will be at Caes Mata or the point where the cross crossing over has taken place, right. We move on to the next question, where write the three processes which takes place in the interface. So, during the interphase, what all happens? During the interphase, okay? During the interphase, what we will see that, you know, there is a replication of the DNA. There is a replication of the DNA, which is the main genetic material, right? There is a replication of the DNA of the DNA. Next after this, after there is a replication of the DNA, what we will see that, you know, in the interface, there will be, there will be synthesis, there will be synthesis of the histone and other proteins. There will be synthesis of the histone and the other proteins. And thirdly, what we will see that, you know, there will be the, you know, there will be the formation of energy, of energy deriving substances like ATP and all there will be the formation, okay, there will be the formation of energy deriving like energy deriving substances like ATP 
etcetera. Okay, so there will be the synthesis of the there will be the synthesis of the histone and the other proteins. There will be the formation of energy deriving substances like ATP, etc. And these are the you know some of the changes which takes place in the interface. Right. Given account of the different types of meiosis based on the site of occurrence and the period. So the type three different so the types of meiosis. Right. The first one we can tell is the gametic meiosis. Okay, the gametic meiosis. Here, the meiotic division. Here, the meiotic division, right, will take place in the gametes. Will take place in the gametes. These gametes then fuse or fertilize these gametes then fuse okay these gametes then fuse or then fuse or fertilize to form okay to form the diploid organism gametic meiosis here the meiotic division here the meiotic division will take place in the gametes these gametes then fuse or fertilize to form the diploid organism so after the gametic meiosis then we'll talk about the zygotic meiosis okay the gametic meiosis is what you know which takes place in us the zygotic meiosis takes place in some of the lower animals and plants what we see i'm sorry here the zygote will undergo meiosis will undergo meiosis and hence the adult individual will be haploid and hence the adult individual will be haploid. Okay, here the zygote will undergo meiosis and hence the adult individual will be haploid, gametic meiosis, zygotic meiosis and the third one is a sporogenic meiosis. Okay, sporogenic meiosis. Here, the sporogenic mother cell, which will be diploid, will undergo meiosis. Okay, here, <coughs> the sporogenic, here, the sporogenic mother cell. which will be diploid which will be diploid 
undergo meiosis. Okay, so here the sporogenic mother cell which will be diploid undergo meiosis and hence these are the three different types of the meiosis. Okay, coming to the next question. This is a sort of objective question what we have. Supply a specific scientific term for each of the following. The period between two successive mitotic divisions, this is called as a interphase, right. Process of cell division by which the chromosome number is halved, okay, called as meiosis, also called as the reduction in division, meiosis. Point at which the two sister chromatids are held together, what is that point? That is point is called as the centromere and what is the name of the protein which is present there? It is the kinetochore protein. Phases in the cell cycle when protein and RNA are synthesized. This is the G1 phase, G1 phase, right? And the next one is nuclear division is also called as karyokinesis, karyokinesis. Right. So, friends, with this, we have come to the end of this, you know, discussion where we discussed all these questions. Any doubt, you can always get back to me. Go back, revise this, and have a nice time. Thank you.